Hey guys, it's me, Talia Risa Gibson. You could call me Tag for short, and welcome to my channel. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe. So today I'm going to make a smoothie and I'm going to show you. I got this Vega protein and greens, no added sugar, 20 grams protein per serving and greens. This is the berry flavor. And so I was going to order this one from Amazon, the Happy Vikings one that um, Venus Williams has been promoting on her stuff. And so I wanted to try that protein powder. But then I went to Sprouts and I was getting like fruits and veggies and different things that I needed um, after being gone for a few days visiting my family. And so I stopped there to get some things and I was like, let me go look at their protein powders. So when I was looking, I've used the Vega vanilla and the chocolate. I got the strawberry banana one time, but I didn't really care for that one. And um, But I usually get these, just the regular chocolate vanilla, and they're not the greens protein one. But this I saw was $43, and then it said it was on clearance for $10. So I was like, $10 for this big thing that's usually... $40 for something this size for the protein powders. So we're gonna try it out today and see if it was on clearance for a reason. Cause you know, it was on clearance, so maybe it's nasty, <laughs> but we'll find out. Okay, so let's see how this is going to be. Let me get this open. All right. Smells like their other protein powders. So let's see, it has pea protein, spinach powder, organic beetroot powder, organic brown rice protein, stevia leaf extract, organic kale powder, organic alfalfa grass powder, inchi powder, sacha inchi powder, don't know what that is, rosemary extract, broccoli powder, pea starch. All right, so let's see, zero cholesterol, four grams carb, one gram dietary fiber, one gram total sugar, zero added sugar, 20, pro, 20 grams protein, um, has a high iron amount and a high vitamin K amount. Let's see, one scoop is a serving size with 21 servings per container. So 21 servings are like, if I drink one of these a day, it's 21 days for $10 this was, so that's pretty good. If it were the regular $40, then I guess that's pretty decent. It's like two something a day, because I think it's like 43, the normal price. But anyway, we're gonna try this out. All right, so we're gonna get my blender here. And let's plug it in. I've used this blender so much. I've had it for about, uh, I've had it for about four, almost five years. So um, it's been a great blender. This one's by Oster, but I like all of the settings that it has like um, green frozen smoothies, food chop salsa, milkshakes. Then it has the low, medium, high setting. Um, and then you can pulse it. You have your on and off and your stop button, but it's been a sturdy blender and has lasted a while. So I'm sure I'll have to replace it in a couple of years. We're gonna use some unsweetened coconut milk for this one. Okay, Put about two cups, so this will probably make more than one, but we'll see. So we're gonna take the Vega protein powder. Let's see if it has a scoop in it. All right, so the scooper is inside of it. So we're going to, and I wiped it down because it was like full of powder and I wanted it to get all over the counter. So we're gonna scoop one scoop as it mentioned. And this says one scoop. Let me see if it gave any directions. Mm, 
I don't see any directions on here. But anyway, we're gonna do, it's probably per eight ounce, but we're gonna do uh, 16 ounces because it's two cups of, all right, let's see. All right, we have our one scoop. Still got some on the counter, but it's okay. Wipe, wipe down as we go. All right, so it says uh, berry greens. So I'm gonna add some frozen strawberries. I have some fresh strawberries in there, but um, we're gonna use the frozen so that I don't have to use ice. banana this time I just want to see how the protein powder tastes and so it'll have the strawberry in there and the powder so let's see all right so let's pour some in the cup and see how it tastes For the rest in this container here and then I can drink it later All right, guys, it's time for a taste test. Let's see how it is. Mm. That's pretty good. It's not bad at all. It's not like too earthy. I think because I used unsweetened um, milk or coconut milk that it could use maybe a banana for a little extra sweetness. But I think this is gonna work good for a fruit smoothie, adding either fresh or frozen fruit. You can also take, which I do sometimes, I'll go and buy just, if, especially when you find the sales on the fresh fruit, you can buy fresh fruit in bulk, wash it, keep some of it for you to eat, and then take the other part of it and put it in the freezer, and then you make your own frozen fruit. Um, but I like to do that instead of using ice. Some people use ice, and it's up to you. Um, but then you could also put a banana or whatever fruit, fresh fruit you want. Mm -hmm. And if you want it to be thicker, then you can add less liquid and then more of the fruit. So yeah, pretty good, pretty good. So do you guys like smoothies? If so, how do you make your smoothies? Do you use juice? Do you use different milks? Um, do you use protein powder? Tell me how you make yours. Is there a favorite smoothie that you have that you want to share with me? Let me know and maybe I'll try it out. But this was a simple one. I just wanted to try out that protein powder because like I said, it was on sale. But I was like, hmm, why is it on sale? Is it nasty? <laughs> but actually, it's not. It, it tastes like a protein powder. Um, but the flavor is not like overbearing, the berry flavor. And the greens flavor is not overbearing. Um, but it's good if you add your own fresh fruit and add whatever uh, else you want in there. I hope y'all are doing well. I hope you're staying healthy, happy, safe. I had a really good time with my family in New Mexico, but I'm trying to get myself back on track because I, I could see in my face that, that I was eating. <laughs> y'all know how it goes. It's probably like two extra pounds on the scale, but I'll get them off. I'm going to the gym today. I have some work I'm gonna do though first, and then I'm gonna go to the gym. But I bought um, a bunch of fruits and veggies and things to 
um, get myself back on track because I had been meal prepping and all of those things. So I was doing really well, but then you go home and people are cooking and you're going out to eat and all these different things. But anyway, <laughs> I gotta get back on track. My birthday is July 26th and I said I have a goal and I'm still sticking with that goal, which I'm not far from it, so I can get there. But I appreciate you all so much for tuning into this video. As always, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell notification so you'll know when I post. Until next time, bye!